Hey guys, it is me, Hepisarik, and welcome back to our free to play account in Last Earth Survival. So today, for the first time ever, we are gonna unlock the sewer location. But in order to do that, we have to assemble the generator. And check this out, the only thing that's required for us to assemble this generator are eight extra aluminum plates. So let's drop them there. Let's assemble our also first ever electric generator here in this account. <laughs> This video is brought to you by LD Player. If you're interested in playing Last of Earth Survival or many other mobile games on your computer, then consider checking out LD Player Emulator. It's lightweight and fast Android emulator for your PC where you can play mobile games with a mouse and keyboard. It supports multiple accounts simultaneously. So you can play Last of Earth Survival and other mobile games at the same time. You can download it from the official site and the link is available down in the description. And just to be big brain here, I am not gonna bring that generator on my own. So another reason why do you even need a chopper to unlock that sewer location is because you cannot bring this generator all the way to the port location to unlock those sewers. Wait, let's leave the chopper. <laughs> I definitely parked it too far away because of this stupid roaming zombie. All right, let's go. Let's take this generator and let's drop it on the chopper. So that is the main reason why you want to get your chopper to be able to unlock that sewer location. You also need this generator and your chopper to unlock Bunker Bravo, or you also need this generator to unlock the northern locations. But we're not going to be unlocking those other locations today. I have already prepared to go to the sewers. I've brought with me a little bit of healing items, some melee weapons, some guns. It's been a a while like probably a few good months since I've stepped foot into that sewer location because for those who didn't know you have to go to the sewer location if you want to assemble your boat and probably I'll be focusing on the boat so hey, check this out let's drive to this port location let's park the chopper let's get this electric generator and let's bring it here all right I can't even open up this door let's drop it here let's open the door from this side now we can come through here I can get this generator and I think we'll be able to go through this door. Here I go, yes indeed, we can go through the door. So we need this generator in order to pump out that water because it's blocking the sewers. And as I said, it's been a long time since I've cleared the sewer, so I don't really remember how many guns and how, or how many healing items we actually need to clear that place. But hey, hopefully whatever I brought today is gonna be enough. So let's drop the generator. And that's it, guys. The water is gone. And the guy's gone as well. Go on, sayonara. From what I've heard, there might be motorboat parts somewhere in the sewers. Yes, indeed. That's why we are going to the sewers. And also, there's always something about the sewers. All the time in the games, in movies, there's something about the sewers. Like, who on earth goes in the sewers? <laughs> what would anything be in the sewers? It's all the time there are sewer people, treasure loot in the sewers, like something in the sewers, sewers community or something. They're always crazy, crazy things. All right, maybe I'm gonna hide behind them, but yeah, I don't think I'll be able to sneak attack these crawlers because you can only sneak attack those other guys. I don't even remember how they're called, but I hear guy dealt with the two first guys. There is the swamp bloater. So yeah, most of them can be probably killed with your melee weapons and sewer location isn't really that hard. So you can clear most of them here quite easily, but the dangers come in when you have to climb up the ladder. Check this out, there is the first ladder. So as soon as I climb up this ladder, then I'll be able to lose my loot. So if I die there, the entrance to this second floor of the sewer is gonna collapse and I'll lose everything that I have. All right, I'm gonna aggro the swamp bloater a bit a bit closer you can also probably wall check some of them by opening up some certain doors again i don't 100 percent remember which doors you have to clear or not and yeah in any case you shouldn't be clearing sewers if you want to build riches you should not be clearing sewers as it's not worth it check this out. i'm gonna try to sneak yeah you see the crawlers don't really work you cannot sneak attack behind those craw crawlers while they're crawling out of the sewers but if that was a different zombie i don't remember his name you can sneak attack him if you just sneak here fast enough so probably i'm gonna use this ladder a bit later but hey first of all maybe let's try to loot these things oh no the swamp bloaters maybe i'm gonna use the glocks here just so that i save up more healing items so if you have enough healing items if you've cooked enough carrots then hey don't waste your guns but hey it's easier for us to get guns than healing items and I don't really have a lot of healing items. I wasted most of my healing items previously on whatever the thing was called. I don't remember. Uh, all right, so I'll have to quickly run through this place. I don't remember what awaits us in front. Can I stay here? No, I'm getting damaged. All right, whatever. Let's quickly deal with this floater bloater. Didn't really have to waste this gun on the floater bloater. Absolutely not. Mistakes were made. Oh, wait, there is the thing to turn off the sewers. Here go, let's turn that thing off. I completely haven't seen this valve in order to disable the gas here. In any case, let's stock up now on healing items. Everything's all right. I'm still gonna take another gun here and we're just gonna run past this goop. So yeah, we are gonna get lots of damage here. 20 damage, 
40 damage. All right, some more damage. And boom, that's it. So here you can repair this thing. Here you go. You can repair this. All you need is 10 cement. But again, in order to get the cement, you already have to have your boat because you can't really get 10 cement without the boat as you need sand. And to get sand, you need the boat. <laughs> so I don't really know why it's like this. This game is a little bit weird because after you assemble the boat, you don't really have to go back to the sewers, kind of as you need the sewers for the boat. But after you assemble the boat, why would you assemble that thing? I don't know, but hey, that's how it works. Let's deal with some of these guys. And also I'm running out of armor. So that's another reason why I'd like to use my guns here as much as possible. I don't really know if we'll be clearing the full sewers today. As if I'm not mistaken, there are three floors in the sewers, like three ladders, maybe. Unless there are two ladders only, I don't remember. It's been, as I said, it's been a while since I've cleared the sewers, but I'm pretty certain that there are three different ladders that you can climb up. All right, let's loot this chest. Sometimes you can get good stuff. Uh, like these terrain maps, so read these terrain maps and you're gonna get points towards your crane key and then you can unlock those crane keys and get some nice loot. Another tip and trick about those crane keys, I can't really show them right now as they're on the top, but don't open up these crane keys until like level eight or something. Start opening them up once you unlock better loot. I mean, when you... We're gonna talk to the guy up there and I'll explain more things later. Uh-oh. Didn't mean this. Whatever. I'm gonna whip out my minigun. Let's start shredding these swamp loaders! Oh, no. Oh, no. That didn't work properly. Here, go dealt with them. So, I didn't really even have to open up this door as it literally has nothing in it. No loot. But I think sometimes chess, a chest spawns there. Occasionally. Rarely. Like, once in a while. Let's get another full durability Glock. And I'm gonna go through here. Oh my goodness, my poor healing items. Here we go. There's this guy, the merman. I can attack the merman over here. I can get the Glock. And I can start shredding these mermans with Glocks. Again, to save up as many healing items as possible. So as you saw, I was able to sneak attack one merman. That's what I was talking about. You can sneak attack behind these mermans. All right, it's fine. We just healed up. Let's load another chest. Sometimes you can also find robber parts. Not rubber parts, but just rubber and that thing. Here we go. There's rubber. You can use it for your ATV. But let's read another terrain map. I think we can get more bolts because we do require them for mods and for chests. Let's open up another door. And I'm riding out on healing items. I'm riding low on the healing items. Here we go. There's another entrance to the top. So we got to be careful with that. There's one more door that I could open up. But do I have to open it up? I mean, I'm not certain if it's worth it or not. It was not worth it. It was not worth it. What if I run away? Oh my goodness, there are so many of them. Whatever, I'm gonna quickly deal with these guys then with this Glock. Should've taken more guns. I definitely have more guns at Bunker or Alpha. Because my poor healing items. We can open up these other two doors. Sometimes there are chests I don't remember. My small brain does not remember. Oops, I accidentally stood up. Didn't mean to stand up. Here, go. let's deal with that toxic spitter. As you can see, these zombies are very simple. You can definitely use your melee weapons. As I said, I'm not using melee weapons because no healing items. <laughs> I'm running super low on healing items. Let's lose this box. We've gotten another terrain map. No, don't take everything. Here, go. let's read the terrain map. And there's this room. I don't think we should even load it as I don't think there's anything inside of this room. Oh, no, there's a chest, actually. There's actually a chest. Let's go. Let's try to be uh, hide behind the wall. I'm going to get an M16. I'll deal with the swamp zombie. We've just leveled up. All right, I'll try to wall trick these carrions with a gun. That should work out quite well. Here we go. We just healed up. Let's get another skill. I mean, we healed up by leveling up. Let's get the camel skill. Let's close everything and let's loot these guys. Maybe they have dropped some pieces of cloth. All right, just robe there. And here we go. One more pile of garbage. Let's loot this. And then I think I'm going to get back to the base for more guns. Or maybe I'll have to run to Bunker Alpha for guns. Because I think I have more guns at Bunker Alpha than at the base. As I usually store guns there. Alright, this thing cannot loot this. Another Merman. Uh, I could probably sneak attack this Merman with this. But then another guy's gonna see us. Which is fine. I think 180 damage to Merman is definitely worth it. Oh, and Merman didn't even damage me with this poisoning. That was definitely cool. A nice way to kill Merman. Let's deal with this Swamp Bloater. Here we go. Extra pieces of cloth. I'm gonna craft ourselves one more bandage. Let's get that with us. And that's it. We are almost done with the sewers. There's only one more door left and there is a Berserker. So you got to be kind of careful with the Berserker because he's kind of tricky. He does a lot of damage. So what you got to do is kill the other guy first. I have no idea. Oh, here we go. There's the Berserker. I have no idea what's going on. I'm going to hide here behind the wall. So that's how it works. You just got to find a way on when they stop punching. Something like this. Something like this. I have no idea what's going on. Let's shoot these Berserkers. So yeah, you can wall check these guys. 
over here. Just be careful from the Berserker. They are very strong. I think Berserker does 20 damage. Well, here go. One of them is dead. There's just a Swamp Bloater now left. So we can wall check the Swamp Bloater with a machete. See, that was a bit confusing. Both of them look very similar. So it was kind of hard to see whose of them is punching and whose is jumping up. But hey, in any case, we were able to clear this place relatively nicely, relatively cheaply. I mean, this room. All right, so let's loot this chest. So sometimes here you can find that pump. Maybe even here we're going to get a pump. No, we did not get a pump. I wanted to get a pump. It would be so awesome to show for you that pump. But hey, we did not get it. But as I said, it's only one of the three floors. I think I've seen only two ladders. I don't remember how many ladders I've seen. I think I've seen two ladders. Maybe there are only two floors in bunker in this place. So just as I said, I went back to that bunker alpha. I brought with me some more weapons. I also brought with me one extra tactical armor suit. And I brought with me some more weapons. And hopefully that's going to be enough. I will probably have to start using guns. I don't really know how many melee weapons I'll use because, again, I'm first of all risking my tactical backpack. As I said, as soon as we go up, the tactical backpack might disappear. As if I die there, that's it. Poof, everything's gonna disappear. So I am gonna be using my guns here. Maybe some melee weapons here and there, but I'm running low on healing items. If I had more healing items, then... That'd be a different thing. Also, I think this is one of the harder variants of the laboratory. The one that we spawned in because you always get different variants. So this thing is pretty tricky. As there are zombies up there. Say so let's... And these zombies do kind of... I mean, they only do four damage, but still, there's a lot of them. So we've got to be careful. Let's go. Let's wake them up. Let's go through the... Through the gas there, through the steam. So as, yeah, as you can see, there's a lot of them. We have already used lots of healing items. Maybe I'm going to start using even the first aid kits just in case things go south. I have to go all the way here. That's it. Let's run past them. Let's deal with another fast rotter. Did this fast rider drop anything? Here, got another piece of cloth. I'm gonna heal up with this. And let's sort of open it up. Let's sort of hide behind the wall. Can I wall check some of them? Well, maybe I can wall check some of them with the, with the gun. I don't really know if it works. I don't really know if it works. Here, go. I don't think the wall check worked. Maybe it can still work if you're gonna run around. But as you can see, they're doing a lot of damage. They're doing lots of damage to your armor. Like, good luck doing all of that stuff with melee weapons. Which is still possible. They can just kind of stuck, get stuck behind the wall. I think if you're gonna run back inside of this room and you get lucky, maybe there is a way to wall trick them, door trick them. I'm pretty certain it works. But again, I brought a gun. I'm gonna use this gun here. I do not want to die. Let's loot the locker. Let's read this. Let's take the rest of the loot. I'm gonna use another bandage to heal up here. And you know what? I will probably equip this armor and I'll get rid of my old armor just so that I don't have to delete it. I'll save a couple of seconds. Let's open up another door. Let's As soon as we open it up, I'm trying to sneak attack. Uh, I'm trying to sneak. Am I get, getting punched? There's this fast rider. Let's go. Let's deal with the fast rider. And here we go. They're not attacking me. All right. So I think somehow, some way we can wall trick some of them at least with the gun. We could maybe use melee weapons to wall trick it. But again, it's faster with the Glock. And I am going to use the Glock here on the sewer location. Well, at least I'll deal with one here. Got to deal with this guy. Now it's going to be much easier to use this machete. Go and start jumping or attacking me or something. So yeah, as you can see, you can definitely do a little bit of wall tricks here and there. Except when there's a lot of zombies in one spot, it's kind of trickier to wall trick it. To wall trick them, so... Yeah, I'm going to use my guns when we can. Uh, let's open up one more box here. And my character is a bit thirsty. I didn't bring any water. Maybe we can find water here, then I'll drink it. So we got no water, so maybe I'll have water in the inbox. Perhaps, perhaps. Let's go, let's get these three bottles of water. Let's drink it. And I'm already gonna prepare a gun just in case, as I don't remember what to expect. All right, some of them are gonna probably stand up. All right, we can wall trick this zombie with a weapon then, with a melee weapon. Here we go, that does indeed work. Let's get back to my Glock. Anybody else here? All right, there's the fetid corpse. I am gonna use this scythe. I'll damage it. I uh, will heal out with this. I'll get the Glock. And yeah, I'm going to shoot it with the weapon as soon as possible. Uh oh, I had only 20 health. I got to be careful about this. All right, I'm going to start soaking in the damage and killing him. I had only 20 health. I could have died there. Seriously, I could have died. And we've gotten big bones that you can use to modify some of your weapons. And it's also really strange that some people will go out of their way to not use guns. I've seriously seen so many people like, hey, how do I clear this place without guns? How do I do this? And it's all possible. Obviously, you can use some melee weapons. You can bring a gas mask to fight this, this guy, right? But it's so complicated. It's just much easier to clear that bunker alpha efficient with melee weapons without using any gas mask then bringing here a gas mask fighting him switching the gear or whatever it's just silly in my opinion but again if you have all the gas masks if you've always remembered to bring them here yes you can bring a mask gas mask and you can kill this guy you can kind of wall trick him whatever whatever but yeah 
here. A couple of these rotten yokels. Uh, maybe I can hide behind the wall. At least, so, at least I'll hide from some of them. All right, so there's only one more fast guy left. Fast rider. Let's go. Let's wall trick this guy. I think there's always a place for wall tricking and there's a place for guns. And this place is for guns. So it'll be cheaper. If you're farming daily, if you're farming for cares daily, then obviously we have enough healing items. But yeah, we're not farming that often here. So I'm going to save every carrot that I can. <laughs> and I'll exchange them for my guns. All right, let's open this thing up. Okay, the door is stuck. Let's loot this and the door is stuck again. Wait, what's going on? Oh, we have to go through here. That's a big room. All right, at least I killed one zombie. Let's hide here. All right, so they're not attacking us. So now little by little, we can do wall tricks. Obviously, it's going to be a bit tricky as it'll be very hard to time it. So I'll try to thin the crowd with the guns and then I'll maybe start using my melee weapons. Here go. All of them are mostly dead. There's only one zombie left. So let's go. Let's try to use melee weapon on him. So as you can see, it's all doable. We've done almost like the second floor of the sewer location, even though this is not the second floor. It's just the second part of the sewer location, but I, let's also loot the box and hopefully here we'll be able to get the pump because it's random. Sometimes you get a pump, sometimes you don't get a pump. And we've gotten the pump! Finally, I can show you that pump. We have gotten this pump from the sewer location. Awesome. I'm gonna get rid of this to get that pump. I'm gonna get rid of empty bottles to get the duct tape and I'd love to get these two aluminum plates and again you have to take everything you won't be able to come back here to this floor again so be careful with what you pick it's not like you can come back later all right this machete is almost broken so it doesn't matter like only two hits I'm gonna get this aluminum instead of the machete I've taken everything there is to take we're gonna activate the terminal here and none of these other doors are openable that's it that's just how it is so this thing can't open up. This thing can't open up either. Everything is just locked. That's it. We're going to leave this place. And as soon as we leave it, we won't be able to come back. So that's why it's so important to remember that if you die here, you will lose your backpacks. You'll lose all your loot. Check this out. We're going to go down there and we will see how the sewers ladder, the sewers place is going to collapse. Check this out. Look at this. It has collapsed and boom. We cannot go back to this place. But in order to go to other sewers, I think we can go around it. Wait, not here. I think we can go through this side. This ladder is still stuck. What about the ladder over here? All right, the ladder over here is stuck. There's one ladder here. And I don't think there are any more ladders, to be honest. There's only this second ladder, and that's it. I don't think there's a third one. So yeah, there are only two floors in the sewers. I think so. Maybe I'm mistaken. I don't know. Whatever. Let's get a Glock here and let's climb to another floor. But before we do this, let's heal out with that bandage. And that's it. We're almost done clearing sewers. We had indeed wasted. Or should I say used guns? I don't like using the words wasted. Because what else are you going to do with them? And this is another pretty hard floor. <laughs> because there will be lots of zombies. So we got to be careful. All right. At least here we can still wall trick them. So that's what's kind of cool. Look at this. We've almost gotten zero damage. That's what matters. And now we can wall check another fast rotter up here. Can I attack the fast rotter? Here go. The fast rotter is dead. I can get back my melee weapon and I can start wall checking these guys little by little. Alrighty, the floater bloater is almost dead. The floater bloater is gone. Now let's deal with the fast biter. These wall checks are awesome. Again, you don't have to do wall checks 100% perfectly. As long as these zombies are not attacking you, as long as you're saving up a little bit of damage from these guys, that said, wall trick is working. Uh, let's get the M16. Let's open up the door. Once again, as you can see, there is a, there are lots of zombies. Oh no, they have came out of nowhere. Let's keep an eye. I shouldn't have came here. I should not have come here. Well, I'm going to hide behind the door. Here go. Now the wall trick is working a bit better. Uh, I'm going to break these guns just to have more space in my inventory as I won't be able to take the loot from here. It's wise probably to bring the loot that you've gotten from the sewers location from that first ladder and bring it to your base so that you have more space for more loot. But we did not do it. Or you can even bring that loot to the top floor. I mean, that's up to you what you're going to do with the loot. As there is a chest here in the sewer location above the sewers where you have to send the packages. All right, I'm going to break this gun. That's why I did not use a melee weapon. Let's go. Let's use a melee weapon on this floater bloater. And also, don't accidentally exit it. Sometimes I've heard some stories from people that they accidentally exit the sewer location. And it's possible. I'm not really certain if I've ever ex uh, exited it accidentally. But I think I could have done that. Totally possible. Also, be very careful of the toxic spewer. Very nasty, guys. Very nasty. So that's why I'm going to switch to an AK. Silenced AK isn't the best AK. You can't really even wall trick them. 
so you have to bring a gun. But uh, this AK is gonna work kind of well. Here go, we've dealt with one guy. Sheesh, let's get back to our M16. And let's open up another door. Probably once again, there will be more zombies. We can kind of wall check them. Maybe you could even wall check that stuff with melee weapons. But again, I'm gonna thin out the crowd from some of the fast riders. And maybe I'll wall check them when there's only one zombie left. I have 60 health. Let's get this. Let's get a machete. All right, there are two zombies. But they're kind of synchronized, so... Well, they were at least synchronized. Well, I can still use my melee weapon and it does work pretty well. Here, go dealt with them. Let's loot our first chest here. And soon we're going to get to the very end. We will be able to unlock the main chest of this place. Let's get this, the terrain map. Some robber. Let's get back our M16. And here go. There are these two toxic spitters. Really common zombies. We fought a bunch of Toxic Spitters in Bond Crow Alpha. Except Toxic Spitters in Bond Crow Alpha never spit at us. But here they're a bit more annoying. Say so be careful. But hey, check this out. We wall tricked all of them. And I've gotten zero damage from these guys. I think so. That, that was cool. That was a nice wall trick. Let's go. Let's loot the thing. We've gotten the terrain map. The glass. The thing. The other box. Let's take all of it. Uh, I'm already going to prepare an M16. But I'm like 99% certain that we can drop this generator. And nothing's going to happen yet. Let's go. Let's drop this here. We can come into this room. All right. As soon as I come probably into the room. Things might go south. So let's get this AK. Again, it's not that sketchy. This place isn't super sketchy. You shouldn't be too scared of it. But zombies will attack you from all the sides. So I'm going to get this M16. Uh, this AK, sorry. All right. So some of these zombies are pretty slow. Be careful and pay attention to your health. 50 health. I'm just looking at the health, not even at the zombies that we're shooting. All right. Gotta heal up. Let's go here. A roaming zombie. And that's it. There's only one floater bloater left. And he has 30 health. We could have used melee weapon, but that's it. We have cleared this entire sewer location. The other floor, we are still alive, and that's what matters. Let's get that. Let's craft one more bandage. And let's go. Let's loot the main crate. Or maybe that's the main crate. No, that's not the main crate. This is just a random box. The main crate is over there. And we are gonna open it up. Here we have gotten a little bit of glass. A little bit of that stuff. And hey, sometimes here we can get a pump as well. Like on each of these bigger crates, you can get a pump. So maybe here we'll get another boat pump. And we have not gotten a boat pump. Here we've gotten an electronic circuit. But no boat pump, sadly. So as you can see, the sewer location isn't incredibly hard. But at the same time, it's not super easy. You have to be prepared here. And hey, check this out. This is the guy that I was talking about Jake so from opening up those maps we were able to level up our crane key up to 50% so once it reaches 100% we'll be able to get this crane key and on each level we'll be able to unlock different rewards so my suggestion is to save up as many crane keys as possible do not open them up because after you reach level 16 you'll be able to unlock these equalizers and these equalizers are kind of nice and then you'll be able to open up all of your saved up crane keys and get those equalizers because if you're going to open up this crane key right now you will not get an equalizer so unlock these equalizers first and then you can get your crane keys or at the very least try to unlock these propellers because you can get propellers from crane keys but if you don't unlock these propellers it's going to be hard to get those propellers from the crane keys and that's where you exchange your stuff for the crane keys. so you just come here you click activate and boom you'll be able to get a box but for that you'll need a chopper you're gonna bring that box to your chopper and you will need an acid bath to unlock that box so you also have to assemble your acid bath but hey that's all you need to know about those sewer locations and about those crane keys and i highly suggest you checking out this last in earth survival video where we raided a bunch of bases or click on the second card and you'll go to my dying light 2 let's play or hop over to my channel go to playlist and there you'll find a lot of other games that are played here on the channel if you're not subscribed yet definitely make sure to jump the subscribe button and notification bell to not miss any future videos and consider following me on instagram or twitter at epicyric Mm-hmm. Yep.